Hey everyone, so today's Saturday, yesterday was Friday, which is a good day because that's the big get home from work and play some bass and go and work out day, so to speak. Yesterday when I was minding my own business with my headphones, uh, a strange sound started happening. Uh, whenever I played a note on my bass, uh, a sub note started ringing in the headphones and uh, at first I thought it was the audio interface and then I thought it was the computer but turns out it was the power supply the Riot Black Box uh, I've had this for I think four years now or something um, it wasn't that expensive and it's been working pretty good uh, it's a bit beat up um, and I guess time has taken its toll on it. So everything is pretty messy right now with my pedal board and I'm doing this vlog Casey Neistat style because uh, I'm gonna set up my pedal board and then go to these go to 11 in uh, central Stockholm or south parks of Stockholm uh, and buy a new power supply and hopefully they can help me out uh, finding a good one. So I'm gonna set up the pedal board now, uh, add some velcro to some of the pedals that don't have any velcro uh, and such. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so now we got the pedal board all uh, set up, uh, or uh, all the pedals placed where I want them, I should say. So hopefully I can have this up and running today. That would be great, because I got things I need to do. I'm back. Uh, it's raining now, a bit, as you can probably tell. On my hat, I have been to. These go to 11. I got myself some new power. Uh, so now I'm gonna patch up my pedal board. Because uh, they patched up all of the power. So I'm gonna patch up all of the pedals and take it for a test run. So see you soon. Okay, so I got my coat off and I'm putting up the computer. So let's patch up the pedal board. This one, this is the old one. So yeah, it gets smaller. So the one thing that's left for me to do now is to patch up all of the pedals and then uh, take it for test run. So here is the patching. It's up and running. Great. Okay, so after a little bit of tweaking, uh, I got the pedal board up and running now. So it's time to do a quick rundown, I think, of how I use it. Um, it all starts with the Korg Pitch Black Tuner. Uh, it mutes your bass when you're tuning, which is great because nobody wants to hear you tune, no matter what you think. Um, the Korg Pitch Black then goes into the Dark Glass Super Symmetry Compressor, which then goes into the Billy Sheehan Signature Drive. Uh, I've got the EBS Multi Drive placed in the drive loop and what that does is that it disengages the drive circuit of the Billy Sheehan Sinch drive so as you can hear there's no distortion there uh, or there should, shouldn't be any distortion there anyway um, 
But if I disengage the distortion pedal, I get the distortion of the Billy Sheen signature drive. And no matter if I hit the boost button, nothing happens to my tone because this little bad boy disengages everything. And that allows me to have the compression of the Billy Sheen signature drive. And that helps me maintain my sound, so to speak. Um, I find that if I were to engage and disengage the Billy Sheen pedal uh, whenever I needed it, uh, I find that there is a slight difference between the clean sound of it and the clean sound that you get without it, so to speak, because of the compression. So I've got it on all the time, but not the distortion part of it. Um, anyways, then I'm going into all of these effects and then into the Dark Glass B7K, which serves as my main DI and my main sound, basically. Uh, and as you can see, I got it set for zero amount of distortion. And that's because it's my, well, it's my clean preamp, basically. And I'm using the B3K as the main distortion. I'll get to that in a second. Anyways. From the Billy Sheehan signature drive, I'm going into the sub and up octave pedal from T Electronic. The sub and up uh, is a great pedal, it's a great addition to my pedal board. It's really useful to get these kind of synthy. organ-like type sounds. Um, from the sub and up I'm going into the Dark Glass Microtubes B3K, uh, which is the same drive circuit, if I'm not mistaken, as the B7K. So basically I got the same distortion as over here, but I can engage and disengage it whenever I want. So it's basically like a Dark Glass B7K Ultra, but I've got the option to add effects after the drive as well as before it. So that, that's great. Anyways, uh, this is my main distorted sound. I find it really helps me cut through a mix. Um, the distortion of the Billy Sheehan signature drive, uh, I have to add, uh, I use it mainly for more lead type stuff. Like in, uh, like uh, that part in um, Pyrene <laughs> by my band, Structural Disorder. I use it to cut through the mix uh, when we play that song live. Anyways, from the B3K, I'm going into the Corona Chorus from TC Electronic. Um, I've had it for about, I think, four years now. Uh, and I've got the, if I'm not mistaken, the Creature Tone Print by Troy Sanders from Macedon. I use the Corona Chorus for the intro to the song Someone Saved by my band Structural Disorder, which goes something like this. TC Electronic Flashback Delay, which is the latest addition to my pedal board, um, and it sounds something like this. And paired with uh, the sub and up and the Corona Chorus, you can really get crazy tones.
crazily beautiful, I have to say. So, when you first see my pedal board, you might think, oh, that's a lot of distortion for one bass player. But I'm actually only using two distortion pedals in the way that they are intended, and that's the Microtubes B3K and the Bellissima Signature Drive. The multi drive on EBS is a bypass switch, and the Microtubes B7K is my clean preamp, <laughs> basically. So, yeah, that's my setup. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And thank you, these go to 11. Uh, you were ever so kind to me uh, with helping me install the power supply and with helping me pick one. So, if you're in Stockholm, anyone watching this, if you're in Stockholm and you need pedals or other pedal related stuff, I recommend you go and check them out. They are absolutely great. Great people, really friendly, really helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.